All right, guys. So uh, I'm super excited to go ahead and, and bring this on. Uh, w- Want to go ahead and bring on the biotech queen. It's called the biotech buzz, guys. And one of the things that I tell you guys is that we're going to be working hard to to knock this industry down. And, and one of the specialists we're bringing on right now definitely knows her game. So let's go ahead and let's let's bring her on. How you doing, Vivi? Hi. Hi, guys. How are you? Well, welcome to the show. It's good to have you on. We're going to let you take over. But yep. one thing I definitely wanted to say as a person that's that's looked into this industry, I, I thank you for bringing the information for, for people like me that need to learn this stuff. So Yeah, yeah. I, I, I would have to say, you guys, um, one uh, like for the new people out there, one of my strategies when I'm trading uh, really small cap um, biotechs, I have a tendency to buy larger amounts than I want to hold. So let's assume that I'm, I'm getting a 2 or $3 stock that it's going to be some catalyst or I believe in it. I usually buy 4,000 shares and I trade around my core. So and when it hits high, I sell it. And then when it hits low, I buy back the other 2000. And when it hits high, why? Because uh, from my previous experience, you know, when I started doing biotech five years ago, I decided to go all in. And one company that I really believe it was um, ID. Wait, uh, I'm sorry. Wait, I'm sorry. You broke up there. What was the ticker? Right. When you said the ticker, you broke up. I, it was Idara. I-D-R-A. And I, I put it in my account i'm like i'm gonna be a long holder here they had like some kind of like g5 technology that was amazing and uh making a long story short i went from having ten thousand shares down to 400 um multiple rs's multiple offerings uh five years later was i had it to be up to be a 40 bucks when the stock today is five and finally they have some data they're going to release on their melanoma i think it's melanoma i I even stopped like following so my whole uh so i i right now only hold more like of the risk stocks and if i do speculate i always buy more than i wish to have so i can keep lowering my cost average because um there was another example too i bought a 3,000 shares of FATE fate okay. and I bought it for three dollars a share and uh, if nothing was happening happening I sold it at eight bucks and today's over a hundred dollars and I'm like so now like if I believe I, I even if I leave a little bit if I get bored out of it I'm like okay I believe in this company I trade it in and out it and I'm just gonna leave something out because it might happen someday so if I had a left to some fate in my account or even ARWR, which is a hundred as well, I would have like made a killing. So uh, I think that's that would be my strategy for anybody coming in new. Don't go all in and those small caps, they need to raise money. If they don't have a product coming up, you know they're gonna have to continue to pay their payroll, pay people, they have to, to put money in research and they have nothing there. They don't have a product, they don't have a com- you know commercialization so how are they gonna bring some capital so don't go and buy an all in and hold long it's not worth it so you want to trade in and out of those those stocks i like the approach i mean one of the things is that you're mentioning there is that you learn from your experience there and another thing that you said there is that you change and you adapt and that's what good traders do right at the end of the day we review our data and then we learn from our data because really that that's the only way to really learn. I mean, anybody could teach a strategy, but if you don't know who you are as a trader and you don't know your data, then it's very hard to start capitalizing your own mind and how you trade. So I, I really like that that mention there, Vivi, and, and we'll keep going here. Yeah. So you know, like people go with, "Hey, Jason." Hello. So I wanted to do like proper intro. So guys, Vivi is giving me like stocks like uh, um, BCRX. <laughs> And then you gave me, uh, what are the symbols? Uh, ATNX and then maybe KPMH or something. And so, uh, I mean, honestly, my percentage gains are so large from Vivi. And I don't know if your, your listeners are here, if they're listening, but she, she was, I mean, yeah, I mean, just every pick you've been giving me great. I know the market's up, but you, you know, the space and partly why you know the space is you worked in the space and you do have your research on it. So one thing that me and Mitch, like Mitch likes technical trading. I like fundamental trading. 
And one of the things that I like about you and some of the other people that I listen to, like Jack, is that you do the research and you do heavy research. Yeah. So you got research, you out research most people, and therefore you have an edge. And we look for edge. Yeah. Our, our, our yeah. shows are all about edge. So I just want to intro- properly introduce this show. So it's a biotech training show. We call it Biotech yeah. Buzz. And and the reason why we're hosting it is because Viv has edge. She knows this market. So I'm going to stop cutting her off. Um, and I, we're going to let you take a little bit over. Feel free to go over the stocks that you want to go over. If you want to show yeah. a chart, Rohan can pull up a chart, or you can share your tab or whatever. I, I don't think so. Whatever you want to do, but that's. But I just wanted to properly give the reason, and you know, and hopefully we're going to do this every day around two thirty to three o'clock. Well, so I wanted to tell you guys also not only because I work in the industry for fifteen years, but I made friendships with a lot of physicians, right? And I made friendships with a lot of people from the other companies. So uh, you know, we we talk about some competitors or some p- potential companies or potential drugs are coming through. And a lot of times I run through my doctors, you know, I like being pharma uh, ha- has taught me how to read uh, clinical trials. And I know it's really, really hard for people that have no idea what ORRR is or P values. But I always like to have, you know, a lot of uh, high educated physicians that are, are friends of mine that I can sometimes run the data. And I have a couple friends that work for Gen- in tech and oncology so they know much better how to read you know oncology tries than I do and so I think that's that's what happens to, to give me a little bit of edge is being able to to talk the, to these people on a, on a daily basis no, got it got it got it um, so, so do you so, want so, you, so I'm, I'm gonna step off the stage and just let you take control yeah. you know do you okay. do you know if you want to share a screen feel free to share a screen as well Okay, awesome. I um I see a lot of people here on the chat and I just wanted to address um really quick what they're saying here. So yes guys, I own MMEDF. I like that for the psychedelic um drug. I think it's the top for me is the top stock. So I'm holding that one long for sure. So I agree with, with the board. And what else here do we see? Okay. Okay, I don't see any any more questions about anything. Okay, of course. Come on, Clean Spark. That's not a biotech, but I own long Clean Spark, that's for sure. So I want to talk to you guys about it. It's um, you know, yesterday I was mentioning to Jason on a show. And I left you guys kind of hanging because I wasn't able to to have my notes here with me. So today I want to talk to you guys about. Uh, KMPH. Are you guys um, are you guys aware of that stock? So let me see here. KMPH. Anybody buzz it? Okay, you guys continue to talk about Clean Spark. I I, so, own, I own KMPH. Yes. Uh, so yeah. So I didn't see you, Jason. Are you still with me? You, I'm, you I'm still I'm still here, but I'm stepping off the stage because yeah. they. They want to hear the biotech stuff. Okay, Wait. so remember the last time we were together. Wait, hold on, you said hold on. Do you, the right symbol. I thought K M P H. Yeah, it's K M P H. In the chat, it says K on the on the screen. It says K N P H. It's K as in Cali. M, yeah, P H. Yeah. I know it was the wrong thing on the screen, but now it's the right. Oh no, no, okay. I see it. I didn't have the screen because I have so many things up. So right. I kind of left you guys hanging last time because I I mentioned it to you. I told you when the do for day was on March second, but I did not give you details of the company and and why I'm so bullish, right? So the company, the CEO of this company, is to be a CEO of a new. Um, of this company called, um, it's a New River, and it was bought out by Shire, so he used to be with Vivance. So all the scientists that work on Vivance are now working on this molecule for, uh, for KMPH. And what I'm excited about it is that the KMPH is a prodrug. So a prodrug is when you take the molecule and then you make into a cleaner version of that you know, other molecule that you already had. So um, Focalin XR is where, you know, Novartis has and where it was the drug 
based off. So they took Focalin XR and made it into a more cleaner version. So this, this not only has very early onset action, but also has a long duration. So with Focalin, um, the duration kind of a wear off, and then doctors have to prescribe twice a day, and the insurance company only cover once a day. So a lot of the patients are coming out of pocket. So it has lower potential for abuse. Um, it's patient-friendly dosage, so it's a small capsule. It's the same size as Vivance, so it's easy to swallow. And it's going to be maybe one of the first products approved for preschool patients between four and five. And it's going to be no generic available. And the patent expires in 2032. So after some, I'm seeing here the chart, after some of the, um, you know, we had to raise some capital. So right now, the markets are around 100 million. Um, we are going to have a 25%. So they have a partnership with the, with the Korean Health. And we're going to get 25% of the sales of this company. So um, if we're projecting a billion, think about it, a billion a year, if we're projecting that, and take that at 100, only 10 million market cap. So if you get 25% of that, there's $250 million uh, a year. So uh, compared to the, the market cap, it's gonna be very low. And I wanted to kind of uh, tell you guys, I hold this position long. Um, my average is a seven bucks. So I, I wanted to add more, but I'm waiting for my sand dial here to hit two so I can um, add it more to KMPH. So I just wanted to disclose that, that I, I'm a, I hold long on KMPH. Um, also, uh, they are don't have any kind of a problems with the cash, they're debt free. And uh, and the same people that, that commercialized Vivens on Shire has moved over to uh, Korean Health, and they're going to be the ones launching the product. So I don't think they would leave Shire if they were not very bullish. And uh, we're not going to have any kind of outcome uh, meetings with FDA. So the meeting with FDA, it's been very um, positive. So um, I think it, it's a completely go. And then a very low, um, low cap, like a low flow stock. So the stocks can move very fast. So the analysts are pre uh, projecting $20, $28 per share for a price to target. Um, I think we can double by, by the time we have a PDUFA and March 2nd. So if you guys don't feel comfortable holding through approval, um, I think this will be a great opportunity to even to uh, invest now into some of the best. So, and uh, do I have access to chat, Jason? Are you still there? I'm just trying to see here if. Uh, you, see. You, have, you have access to chat. Okay. Yeah. Rohan's, okay. here too. Rohan's here too, and he should be able to help. Rohan, you got to change the titles and get the stuff going. So. Um, but yeah, yeah, you got and and Mitch is here. We're all we're all here. There is a chat and people are asking yes, questions. And and then you know if there's any other catalyst you want to talk about for the week coming up, um, you know, uh, yeah. and, so, and so, you could do that. Uh, and, and then you you saw that B, BCRX got approved this morning, so that was something. Um, Sava, I don't know what Sava is, but you know, just go there. Okay, I'm seeing here, Vivi. There is an echo. Is there an echo? Uh, can you hear an echo? I don't. I don't hear an echo. I don't hear an echo. No echo. You were just cutting out a little bit. Uh, like yeah, you cut out a little. I mean, that's one thing. Okay. Maybe get wired. You you don't cut. It's like the sound is pretty good. We'll we'll work on it for tomorrow's show. Maybe you maybe you're wireless or get closer to a router. But there's no echo. You're good on the echo. I'm gonna um see uh if my son can bring uh his gaming uh micro uh headphones yeah you could try that yeah it will probably help yep. yeah i just text him to bring me some uh his gaming headphones maybe it'll help so okay somebody's Wait, why, asking mitch, you, mitch why are you on uh, mitch wants to go live i don't know what he wants but let's see mitch what are you ahead. what are you looking mitch what do you what's up what's your question you want to be live no i was just stating uh no i was just trying to get uh her her got her thumbnail on there so you got a nice thumbnail up you got to set it up right all right, you don't have a stock question, Mitch. I wanted to bring you on. I thought you had a stock. You said, uh, I, I got one. I got one that I've been looking at for a long time. What's Teva? Is Teva ever going to come back? Teva Pharmaceuticals? Teva Pharmaceutical. 
Yeah, oh, look, that face says it all. That yeah, face says yeah. it all. I used to day trade that one years ago. So, <laughs> Mitch, that was good. Mitch on the spot, baby. Love it, Mitch. All right. I'm hey, taking you off the, uh, the stage. Peace. I know my stocks. Have- you do. You do. Okay. All I right. Not call Tiva. No. All right. No, no, all right. No. Do you guys call it Tiva? I call it Tava. You guys were a fight about that. I, so I think I would say Tava. There's only one E, right? It's only Tava. I don't um, fucking know. I don't know. Yeah, so uh, people are giving me tons of stock here. So AUPH, I'm still holding. I think it's an amazing, uh, we just had an approval. It's going to be uh, for um, lupus nephritis. So I not, we talk about, Jason, about that one that I was holding for a PDUFA for approval. It got approved, but I was a little disappointed that they got some uh, partnership internationally. So that was going to diminish our, you know, uh, opportunities to get a buyout right off bat, right off approval. But I'm holding long uh, for sure, you guys. I think it's an amazing drug. Um, I ate Atos. I heard of it, a lot of it, but I don't. I I have not. Okay, EVFM. You guys have been hammering me about that one. Um, I think there's a got nice niche. You know, it's uh, contraceptive in a form of bell, uh, no hormonal. Um, I think that's going to be its own niche because you have the, the implant that you can put a teenager on. So I don't, I haven't invested in EVFM, but I have to, to take a look. Uh, I'm long on SENS. Yes, I think it's their a monitor. It's amazing for sure. Uh, I'm holding uh, Roach on 11% of SENS, so I do believe it's an amazing device. And you guys are hammering me here with uh, with uh, with uh, symbols. Okay, so I'm just checking here. Yeah, so KMPH, uh, Pedufa, March 2nd. Okay, so okay, I see here. Yeah, so I'm holding uh, KMPH as well. Um, oh, let me see. Atos, I heard of ATOS, um, cure of a breast cancer. I have to take a look, you guys. If you guys keep coming, I will research each one i went on twitter um there's a couple ones that i'm really really interested in learning because you guys hit me up on twitter and ask me about it so i have to do my my research and dig it another i want to tell you guys about it um the 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 not to confuse uh vivance i don't think we're gonna take any share of a market of a vivance at all they're completely two separate uh uh different uh kind of a stimulants, but I feel like it's uh, definitely is going to be a potential for, um, you know, to take a niche out of a lot of the focal end because it went generic. So I, I feel like there's a huge potential to take a lot of that niche because now it's a long acting and they're going to come up with a drug um, that's going to be more focused, focused for uh, the adult population as well. Okay. So let me see you guys. What are you guys doing here in the chat? Okay. So, okay. Okay. Um, everyone spread the word February 4th. Okay. Dodge coin, you guys. Come on. ADMP. Okay. CBBT, I am, uh, I'm long on that one. It's a great paint stock. I just merged with another company. They have uh, a lot of the, the masks. So, CBBT, it's thumbs up. Um, KM. PH, the approval odds, uh, I do believe the approval odds are very, very high, like maybe like a 90%. The only the only hesitation I have, it's a lot of times you can have a manufacturing issues or you can have some shenanigans from the FDA. So I, I'm not going to hold my full position until March. I'm going to take um, my initial investment out for sure. And uh, can you guys hear me, Jason? Can you still hear me? Okay, or you st- am I still echoing? No, I hear you fine. I hear yeah. you fine. Well, we can always improve. We can always improve with better mics and stuff. Remember, remember, this is like testing. You don't have to answer every question in the chat. Just you know, yeah. like one of the things is you you're in BCRX. Yeah. You may want to give a price target update on it. 
you know, okay, just feel well, free. Let's do like, an up, an, an upgrade. Loud, loud and clear. Everyone, <laughs> everyone loves it. Everyone loves it. Just, just be, just be yourself. And you've made me a lot of money. So maybe you can help make our listeners a lot of money. So you, I just didn't think it was fair that you were giving me the stock picks. I'm like, why don't we give it to the other people too? Um, and so that's, that's it. So now just, just be yourself. And if you don't get to all the chats, you can get to them later. It's all yeah. good. I just hope everybody, I'm looking at the chats here. There's so many. Um, no, you have not missed BioCrys. Believe it or not, BCRX is still undervalued, you guys. Um, haven't even reached 2 billion market cap. And um, I do think that now we're launching the, the drug for HAE, HAE, which is going to be the only one available in a form of a pill versus injection. And that uh, they're projecting $500 million in sales. And, uh, and of course, a factor D pipeline. I mean, you can't. So it's not too late. I mean, I've been holding long as well. Um, I'm not telling you. To, but it's for me, I, in my own opinion, I uh, it's still very um, on the value. I expect that BCRX is going to get bought out for sure. You know, um, you know, as much as I I would love to sell on that twelve bucks, I, I'm holding really really long. I think we can get bought out by eighty bucks a share um, for sure one day. Um, in regards to um, ATNX, you guys. I am. Uh, they have a, a Pidufa coming up February 28. So I am holding that through the FDA approval. I think it's gonna get approved. Uh, and uh, they have for the first time they're gonna have a Taxo, which is an IV medication for breast cancer. And doctors really like it, but they don't use it because it causes a lot of neuropathy. And this company is coming up with a drug that's gonna. Um, come with the form of a pill with a Taxol. So people can take from, you know, the comfort of their homes three times a week and, um, and lull neuropathy as well. So um, that is February 28th. Now I want to update you guys with some of the, the PEDUFA coming February. We have um, DTHX and we also have a TGTX. So uh, DT, DT is gold, uh, gold trap, Harrison, uh, Xanax, I guess. <laughs> and um, and a TGTX is T as in Tom, G as in gold, T as in Tom, X. And both are going to have approval um, around Valentine's Day, February 15th. I think Valentine's Day is February 12th. And I'm holding long on those two as well. So um, that's gonna be for February, and then to send we have um, we have a KMPH. Uh, so let me see here, what else are you guys? Oh, which is Sambo. Okay, and SPR. I love an SPR. I think an SPR. It's gonna be an amazing. They have this amazing um, product that's gonna be for um, for interventionists. It's so it's a stent that has some mesh and that has a lot of less side effects. So, um, and one of the renowned cardiologists um, that in, that was the pioneer for stent is on a board of NSPR. So it's a win. I'll cover it up next time when I have you guys. So let me see. Okay. Also, uh, Benzinga wants to put some of the, the tickers on the screen. Let me see. I'm here with my um, I'm here in my son's account, but I can put it for you guys. So ATNX February 28, GTX and TGTX February 15th. So I just put on a chat, you guys. Hopefully that helps. It's not working here. Yes. And then you guys, I wanted to cover, um, what are we gonna do also for um, biotech? What, what, what ticker did you want on the screen? They want on the screen, they're asking for the, the PEDUFAs. They're coming up, the ones with the PEDUFAs. So, they were, like, so if you want ATNX. Uh, yes, yeah, ATNX. ATNX like and that. they also want a GT, HX. HX. No, G is gold, G H X, 
and then TGTX. Yeah, you got it right, J. Yeah, you got it right. Yeah, it's just just one line. So if you if if you write it um if you write it, Vivi, in the chat here, if you go to the comments, you can put it in you can put it in one row. And then you can say hit show on chat, you know, so you'll see. Okay, I'm standing here. So I'll do this right now. I'm Take learning, you guys. Yep. I'm learning. Yep. Uh, GTHX, TGTX, February 15th. Okay. And um, when did you say, Jason? I got we we didn't get a, we didn't get the approval for uh, BCRX uh, RX yet. So we're waiting for a European approval. So today was um, standard label, I think, approval on their other drug. So there was not really an approval approval, but we had some news. But we're still expecting news on um, the European approval this quarter still so we had a japan last month before um before you bought it now after you bought it so you bought it and then we got the approval on in japan so mm -hmm. uh, yeah. so uh bcrx we're still waiting for european approval and we're still yep. waiting for um launch numbers we're just starting launching the the new drug uh in uh, january and then we also are waiting for the data on a factor D pipeline. So the factor D pipeline is the one that we are expecting to be one day better than than Alexion that got bought out for thirty six billion. So okay, so okay, Nita, thank you so much. So she's a pharmacist, and she's saying great show. Thank you so much. That means a lot, a lot to me. I have a lot of pharmacists, friends, PharmDs, and they they can also help a lot with the data reading for sure. So it takes a village to find these um, biotech stocks. So absolutely, and, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. So KMPH. Um, it's still a long, long ways to go from when I bought it, but I, I feel very comfortable in uh, holding that. Um, Oh, okay, somebody, if they fall the Pedufa, they're one and done. So that's why I don't hold, like, they're not one and done because they have another molecule. They're testing adults. But I don't, that's why, like, one one, uh, one hit on wonder, I don't hold full to um, FDA. Unless you want to hold a bag for another year or two until they get, they have to redo their studies. A lot of times they get an, um, a complete response letter where, the FDA is expecting more data or FDA is expecting more problems with manufacturing sites. So I would not go all, 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 all in on a one hit of wonder. So I'll for because it's a, such a low float stock, um, I think we're going to hit double digits next month. And I'll definitely take my initial investment out of my um of my shares. I'm not taking the risk here, you guys, even though I think it's gonna be 90% approved, but there's so many factors that can delay the approval. So in a long term, yes, but I don't wanna trap my trap my money, you know, Jason, who wants to trap their money for two for another two years? So um I that's agree. I agree. That's, that's only, my uh, like that's I only feedback, you know, don't hold, don't hold a stock through Pedufa because there's so many things that can go wrong. So um, I definitely would not hold. Oh, you're yeah. welcome. Yeah, somebody's saying here, she just shed so much light on this complicated stocks. I bought one GME and went down and I sold. Okay, guys, uh, it's it's maybe learned from me. I, I started investing about five years ago. Um, if there's no product in Horizon, do not hold long, you guys. Buy maybe a double what do you want because you believe in a stock and sell half when it goes high and you know buys back when it comes back low i would not suggest you guys to hold uh a stock long unless you know you want to put in your ira and you don't need the money um but look what happened to me and idara jason i the stock it it, it our asses you know there's been 20 years and they have no product still you know so um yeah, I would definitely be more cautious, you guys, when it comes to investing on this small bios. But yep. they can be big. They can pay huge. 
Um, Absolutely. Beyond, okay. you could, so you somebody's three, asking you. You could, you could have 300% gains, but you guys, we, we're, at, we're at our time limit. We have our next show. Um, so Viv, thank you for the first uh, show. I know you didn't, I know you didn't get to all the stuff you wanted, but it is now almost no, 301. Okay. Somebody was just asking me about bio, about BCRX is the risk it. So I'm holding long. I don't have to worry about it. They have a product. So, yeah, okay. Got it. They have a product. So she likes it. All right. Well, Viv, yeah. thanks for the first one. Um, <laughs> we'll get, we'll get better tomorrow and, uh, you did, did great. Thank you. And if you guys make money, let us, let let us know. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you, guys. Give Viv a clap. Follow her on Twitter, Biotech underscore SD. She does the work. She really does the research. So, okay. We'll see. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye bye. You're okay. Bye bye. Bye. -bye.